Is Blake Snell still a possibility for the New York Yankees? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, I hope you are having a stupendous day today. If you love the Yankees but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. So, Blake Snell. Fact of the matter is this. He's on the market still. Reigning National League Cy Young Award winner. Still a free agent. It's almost Feb. Almost February. Pitchers and catchers report very, very soon, and he does not have a home. The top pitcher on the market does not have a home. His situation is so weird. It's so odd. They had a 2-2 earned run average. 180 innings pitched. Two-time Cy Young Award winner. And, and he's won a Cy Young in the American League. And he's won a Cy Young now in the National League. You would think he would have been more coveted by major league teams. He wants a lot of money. We get that. $240 million. It's a lot of money. But apparently, and the reason why we're still bringing the Yankees up when it comes to, break, to Blake Snell the Yankees are the only team, supposedly, that offered Mr. Snell a contract. Mind-blowing, mind-boggling even. That just confuses the heck out of me. Now, the only reason why this could be a thing is because, hey, you want way too much money. But, on the flip side... Ten days ago, I made a video talking about Blake Snell, basically talking about the same exact freaking thing. I thought he would have been gone by now. I thought he would have been signed on to a team by now, but he's not. So the Yankees being the only team that's offered him a contract, ten days ago, we thought that contract offer was five years worth $150 million. Well, another report came out. The money amount was right, but the years weren't. The Yankees actually offered Blake Snell a six-year deal for $150 million. That's less than what the Yankees gave to Rodon last season. And Carlos had two solid back-to-back years with the White Sox when he came off of Tommy John. He didn't pitch a full season that year, though. And then he signed the contract with the Giants and had a very nice year for them which then resulted in the the New York Yankees signing him to a six-year deal for, I think, like 165. The Yankees offered Blake Snell a six-year deal, but for 150, a two-time Cy Young Award winner. Rodon, quite frankly, he's he's been damaged goods basically his whole career. He's got a great talent. I'm not poo-pooing on him, but the guy's only thrown, he's only had 30 starts, only pitched 30 games, once in his career, and that was with the San Francisco Giants. And the Yankees offered him more money than what they offered to Blake Snell this offseason. I, I don't know. The market's weird for this guy. I know a, a lot of people say, oh, he doesn't pitch more than five innings. Listen, out of his last 21 starts, he pitched five innings or less five times. So that gives you 16 starts where he gave you six innings or more. I mean, he's not your ace. But then if he's not your ace, why pay him like an ace? I don't, listen, I don't know. All I know is this. He won the Cy Young Award. He's still on the market. The Yankees apparently are the only team that's offered him a contract, which is crazy to me. Uh, You would never have thought that this guy won the freaking Cy Young. It's almost February. It's February. He's on the market still. Jordan Montgomery's on the market still. I think he's waiting on the Texas Rangers because he really wants to go back there. But the Rangers have some money issues of, of their own. So Mo- Montgomery, I, I assume, is going to go back to Texas once when Texas figures their stuff out. But as far as Blake Snell goes, hey, I, I don't even think the Yankees would sign him to a one-year deal. Brandon Cuddy mentioned that he was like, listen, the Yankees, they're done. They're not going to add a, a, a high-end starting pitcher. 
They're not going to add on even more money because of the luxury tax. And yes, for the New York Yankees, why are we talking about a tax for it? For the freaking Yankees, uh, believe me, I agree. But that's just what's being reported. The Yankees spent that 17 and a half per year on Stroman. So now, when it comes to adding a pitcher like a Blake Snell, even if it were to be like a Correa kind of deal, like let's say a one-year deal or a two-year deal with an opt-out, like I forget what Correa's deal, what kind of a deal Correa had with the Twins at first because he opted out. Test again. Or just going back there. But maybe Blake Snell does something like that. Signs a one-year deal for a lot of money. But then even at that, the Yankees would still be taxed like crazy. So, at least for this season. So, I I just, I don't see the Yankees getting him. But the Yankees being the only offer that he has out there. It's like, is there still a chance? Is there a real chance that they end up with Blake Snell anyway, even after all this? We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated on on it, though. So do me a favor. If you love the Yankees and you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out. And to all of our channel members here at The Shift, thank you guys. It means a lot.